Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. In this week's episode, Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2, the Tony Stark design experience, and Apple's newest iPhone. The Spaceship 2, also known as SS2, broke its own speed and altitude record last week, achieving an altitude of 69,000 feet and a maximum speed of Mach 1.43, which is about 1,088 miles per hour. The SS2 is the brainchild of Virgin Galactic, and this was its second rocket-powered supersonic flight. The SS2, which is about the size of a Falcon 900 executive jet, was carried and released at 46,000 feet by the White Knight 2 carrier aircraft from Virgin Galactic's Mojave Air and Spaceport in Mojave, California. After release, the rocket motor burned for 20 seconds and the pilot was able to test the unique feathering system for reentry at high altitudes. The SS2 is a 100% carbon composite construct and is powered by a hybrid rocket motor that uses solid rocket fuel and nitrous oxide as an oxidizer. It's part of Virgin Galactus' new space tourism venture, designed to take six passengers on a suborbital flight. The flights are scheduled to start next year, so book now. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, an inspiration for the 2008 version of Tony Stark, is using Iron Man as the inspiration to design even better ways to manufacture parts. A tweet and video follow-up reveals that SpaceX is, at least partially, using 3D immersive reality images to design the parts for their spaceships. Designers and engineers control the designs with hand motion and can interact with the designs in real time. They began the process using a leap motion controller and then moved to a 3D computer-aided design model, which allowed designers to work in fine detail. The team eventually began using the Oculus Rift 3D glasses for a more fully immersive experience. After the design is finalized, the team uses a 3D printer to print the titanium parts for the spaceship, obviously. At a press conference on Tuesday, Apple announced two additions to the phone family, the iPhone 5S and a cheaper, plastic, colorful iPhone 5C. One second. The 5S, arguably the more interesting of the two, features the same body as the iPhone 5 and the same 4-inch display screen. It has the new A7 processor, which is the first 64-bit chip in a smartphone. It also runs the OpenGL ES 3.0, making graphics even better than on the iPhone 5. The phone also features a fingerprint scanner called the Touch ID, which doubles as the home button. You can use the scanner, which has a 500 ppi resolution and a 360 degree readability, instead of a password. They've also improved the camera by allowing for a larger aperture and sensor. The prices are pretty typical for Apple. 16 gigabyte is $199, 32 is $299, and 64 is $399, all with a contract. It'll all be available on September 20th. Uh, level 135, yes! That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your Engineering Update.